Alright guys, uh, Robocopter here. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, tutorial, I guess, on how to use uh, inventory in the mod for Armor 2 called DayZ. Uh, this is the first of a series that we're gonna do on surviving in DayZ. So, uh, it's gonna be me and probably one other guy just kind of uh, helping out the newer people. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, if this video interests you or if, if it helps you out, please like and subscribe. And uh, we're actually getting a website going up right now. And uh, But anyway, without further ado, uh, so I just killed this guy. There's incredible lag on this server. So I killed him on the like on top of that tower and somehow his body ended up over here. It's pretty interesting. Uh, that's what I get for playing on a Russian server. But uh, okay, so first things first. Uh, there's really two different states uh, of your inventory. Uh, there is the state whenever you are standing out in the open, you're not uh, looting anything, and then you press G. Uh, this is like your normal state whenever you're not looting. Uh, it's a little bit different than whenever you're actually looting a body and you like open up gear or something. So we'll start with the easier one first. So when we're not looting, you're going to open your inventory by pressing G. And this is probably one of the lowest parts of this game. The inventory system is really difficult to understand and um, it's really easy to say delete your weapons and things like that um, so hopefully this will help you out a little bit um, okay so as you can see this is kind of your main inventory this is where your water your food your medical supplies your primary weapon uh, ammo comes in here down here this is for your secondary ammo and your bandages uh, and then obviously these are, like, this is your secondary weapon slot. This is your primary weapon slot, which I don't have one since I'm a noob. And uh, I don't know, I guess uh, there's two slots here because one is for night vision. I've never gotten night vision. But uh, if you ever get binoculars, they go here. So it's like a free slot. Make sure you always pick up binoculars. Um, and down here, this is, um, I guess, like your survival slash tool area. These are also what I consider free slots. This is if you pick up a survival knife, box of matches, uh, uh, gosh, a, a toolbox, etc., uh, etc. Et All of those things are going to come in here, and uh, they're not going to take up any slots in your main inventory. So uh, always collect those things. Uh, things like compass, map, uh, a watch, all that stuff. That's all going to go down here. Um... Uh, so now to the confusing part uh pretty much everybody i mean you start with a backpack that's what this is right here it's a patrol pack um it's a eight slot pack um it's pretty pretty small there are four different packs or four let's just say there's three main packs and then there's one really rare pack there is the patrol pack which you start with there is a check backpack which i believe is 10 slots if I'm, or no 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 that can't be right i think it's 16 slots and the next one up is an Alice backpack, which I believe is 24 slots. I might just be making these up. I will have to double check, and I'll put that in the description. Um, and then there's one other pack that I believe is called the uh, Coyote pack, which is, I, I believe, the biggest pack. Maybe that one's 24. That sounds right. But anyway, now to the important part. Um, switching between, or putting things in and out of your backpack. This is uh, what's kind of confusing about the inventory system because depending on what state you're in, whether you're looting a body or just sitting here like looking at your inventory like we are now, is going to depend on how you interact with your backpack. So if you want to, uh, say, put something from your main inventory into your backpack while you're in this state, you're going to double click or click and open bag down here. And what you're going to see up here is uh, on the left-hand side up here, it's going to tell you what your backpack uh is called and how many slots you have have available so we have eight available slots out of eight slots uh, as you can see there's a bunch of numbers here all of these numbers represent uh, the number of items of that particular thing in your main inventory so as you can see we have one can of beans here and it shows up right here if we want to move that to our backpack we're gonna simply press this left arrow here <coughs> And as you can see, that removed it from our main inventory, and it's now in our backpack. Even though you can't physically see, there's no backpack area here. Um, that's what this number represents. And as you can see, we lost one available slot of that backpack. 
Um, so that I mean that's that's fairly simple. It's kind of uh, it's not very visual, but um, it, it is what it is, I suppose. All right, now we're gonna move on to state two. So as I said, I just killed this guy, so we're gonna check out his loot. All right, so whenever you first open loot, whether it be on the ground or on a body or anything like that, you're gonna see that the loot is gonna be on the left hand side and your main inventory is gonna be on your right. So he has two bandages, I have one bandage. So if I click right, it's gonna take one bandage from the survivor and put it in my inventory as you can see here. Same with the mags here. Yeah, I know, I have a Makarov, it's terrible. Um, I took two, or I took three of his mags and put them into my inventory. Again, pretty easy. Um, now what's confusing is, or I guess it, it's just different, and so that confuses a lot of people, is if you want to take something from the, the, the loot stack and put it inside of your backpack, not inside of your main inventory. What you're going to do there is double click your bag. And now, for some reason, they just completely changed it up. Now you're actually able to view the slots inside of your backpack. So as you can see, we've got eight slots here. And this is the visual representation of your backpack. Still on the left-hand side, you're going to have uh, the loot stack. And on the right-hand side, even though it's not labeled, this is going to be your backpack, just like before. So if we want to take the, uh, the painkillers here, we just move those to the right. And as you can see, they move into your backpack. You can easily close bag and move things into your main inventory. Like, I really want this map. Um, so that's pretty much how the inventory works. It, it's probably, even though I, I feel like I did a decent job explaining it, it's going to take a little while just for you to get in game and just kind of play around with it. Um, I still, to this day, I've been playing since like it first came out. I still accidentally delete stuff all the time. Um, I guess I should mention how you do that. Uh, so if you ever move something from your main inventory to your backpack when you do not have a slot available, you will end up deleting that. So if you try and move a gun, which once you get a bigger pack, a lot of people carry around a spare gun in their backpack. Once you move that gun to your backpack and you don't have a, uh, enough slots available, say like eight slots for uh, a CZ, uh, you're going to delete that weapon. It's just going to go into no land. Uh, it, it doesn't drop on the ground. It doesn't give you an error message. It just flat out deletes. Um, and I guess one other thing that I can show you here. Uh, and this is actually why I waited to kill somebody so I could show you this. So uh, whenever uh, you want to upgrade your bag, uh, what you want to do is... This is kind of a bad example because the patrol pa we both have patrol packs. But say he had a bigger backpack and I really wanted that bag. Uh, you have to be careful. Because anything that's in your current bag is going to be lost whenever you trade bags out. So you need to make sure to move everything from your, from your bag into your main inventory. Or let your friends take it out. Or whatever you need to do to make sure that all the things that are in your bag that you really need get, uh, get saved with somebody in their main inventory. And then you can easily just right click here and it's going to put the bag here so that's how you actually collect a bag um, it's not like in some games where whenever you take a bag it automatically moves all the items from uh, from the bag that you had to the bag that you picked up which is kind of unfortunate but uh, again I think that's an, a limitation within Arma not within DayZ so uh, don't diss the game I guess um, what else can we talk about um, I guess this is another thing that I can just kind of touch on. Uh, whenever you, this is this is primarily on people. Whenever you're looting a, a a pile of loot or whatever on the ground, all you're gonna see is gear, and then you open it up, and that's that's all the stuff you can loot. Whenever you're looting a body, however, if they have any type of backpack, it actually separates the two things, um, which is a little confusing for some people. So when you click on gear, you're looting their main inventory. Whenever you click on open patrol pack, obviously you're you're looting their backpack. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much how the inventory system works here. I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, uh, please comment. And we can make sure to get all that information out to the people that are looking for it. So, um, Again, like I said, if you liked this video, please like or subscribe. And I, uh, we will be posting this on our website. We are kind of developing it right now and trying to get all this information in one spot for you guys um, since this game is just growing exponentially 
Um, but yeah, um, be watching out for uh, some more Daisy survival videos the, the next couple days.